So we're midway through our first bend here on our brand new M600, and we ran into a little issue that should be real nice and simple to fix. And it's something you guys might see as well. And so we figured we'd make a quick video while we're already here and set up. Basically, we got partway through our bend and the hydraulic ram didn't want to give us any more pressure and we couldn't keep bending. Sounds like there's probably air in the system. And as per Rogue Fab's instructions, we're going to show you how to bleed that. It's really simple. You just want to take your ram out and stand it up vertically in the machine like this. And then what all we're going to do is I'm going to use our air compressor. You could use this little guy as well. We're going to extend the ram all the way up to the top of its travel with the release valve completely shut. Once we get it up to the top, we'll open the release valve, push it all the way back down. We should hear some air leave the system and we'll repeat that process maybe two, three times. Sound good? Yeah. All right. I'm going to kick the air compressor back on and let's just go into time lapse. All right, that looks like the top of our travel. Our air compressor is tiny, so I was doing a little by hand. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the top. Big Bob, you want to loosen up that release valve for me? And now we'll just force it back in. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can. Oh, yeah. Big squish. Yep. Tighten her back up and back to time lapse. And back to real time. This feels way better. I feel like a compression spring. All right, tighten her up. Okay. All right. That should be all we need. Let's put it back in, set it right back up, and see if we can continue our bend. Sounds good. I can already tell we've got a lot of that air out of the system. We were before, when we were doing this even just by hand, it was going in little spurts, only when it would build a bunch of pressure, because if you have air in your system, that's gonna compress, the hydraulic fluid won't. So, wanna make sure you bleed all that air out like we just did. All right, so we bled the hydraulic ram as per Rogue Fab's instructions. Um, the only other thing I'll mention is these hydraulic rams are intended to be used in the vertical position. And so if you go and look into the ram's instructions, they tell you how to bleed it to get the air out of the system. It's a little different than how Rogue Fab does it. You're not going to want to use Harbor Freight's instructions um, because Rogue Fab, when they ship these to you, actually overfill the cylinder by about four to six ounces of hydraulic fluid in order to compensate for it laying on its side like this. And so if you do find that even after that process, you're still um, not getting the pressure that you want out of your hydraulic ram, there's a little fill plug right here. You're not gonna be able to see it, but just a little rubber plug. You pop that out and just add two ounces of fluid at a time, the maximum they've fill is, again, I said four to six. So just two ounces at a time. You don't want to overfill it, but you'll be good to go. So this, the upright checking and bleeding procedure does not work when you have to overfill it in order to use it in a horizontal orientation. Worth noting, just figured I'd tell you guys. But now that we're all good, Big Bob, do the honors, man. See if we can pump it up. All right. That feels good. I'll tell, yeah. tell you right now. Do you have pressure through the whole stroke? Yeah, 100%. Okay, 100%. nice. We are in the game now. Nice. All right, that's as far as we're going to go in this video, but let's get back to the actual episode. Sounds good. All right.